Hello again everyone, it's Vince Ford from TradingWinds.com and this is our update for October 10th, 2020, excuse me, 2021. Hope everyone's enjoying their weekend so far. Let's take a quick look at how we finished off the week last week. On Friday, we did see a bit of, uh, of red on the screen here. Uh, the Dow Jones down 12 points and you can see sitting right along uh, that, uh, that trend line. Now, it's on the, um, you know, slightly above it which is positive but uh but barely if we look at the s p 500 it uh did not manage to get above there it actually got rejected there sitting right at the 20 the s p 500 down almost eight points on friday if you look at the nasdaq 100 we uh, got rejected by the 20 there and are sitting pretty much in the middle of this wedge um, and the russell 2000 also sitting in the middle of the wedge which really is the middle of that almost year-long consolidation for the Russell. The Russell down 17 points on Friday. So still weakness in the market here. Not a crash by any means, but um, weakness. Uh, you know, more selling than buying. That That's what's pretty clear. The um, crude oil market uh, was up $1.05 at the close on Friday. Uh, gold uh, down a buck eighty here, uh, having a tough time with the twenty period moving average all week last week. Still unable to close above there. If we look at the dollar index, um, you know it's been it's been showing some strength lately. And, and Friday, bit of a down day here, but not much. Um, but you know certainly uh, you know on a bit of a run lately, doing quite well. If we switch to the charts of the main ETFs for the different sectors starting with energy you can see energy just flying here uh, doing really well and right back to those prior highs so looking very strong right now now obviously the price of oil uh, could put some pressure on the economy you know contributes to inflation etc um, so that's something to definitely watch but if you're trading anything in the energy sector uh, lately, you should be doing quite well. Financials also doing pretty well. This due to, you know, higher rates. Uh, one thing we didn't talk about at the start of this video was the 10-year uh, note. It's now sitting at 1.613%. So uh, rates slowly climbing here, and that will help financials. Technology stocks, though under some pressure and this is something to make note of here xlk which is the etf for the tech sector you can see we have a nice bearish engulfing setup right along that down sloping 20. not a good sign and if we look at the main tech stocks out there the big names right you look at an apple for example it has the exact same pattern um, not not a good look if you look at amazon here uh, very similar pattern as well. Not a good look. If we look at Facebook, we know they've been in the news lately and have been pretty weak. Also, not a good look. If we look at NVIDIA, um, very similar. Uh, and once again, uh, this setup, bear setup at the uh, 20 period moving average. And um, uh, what else can we look at? Google, right? Or Alphabet. Um, this one still hanging in there and actually closing above the uh, 20. So, you know, not looking uh, as bearish. This is actually a little encouraging here. But again, most stocks in the tax sector not looking good right now. XLP um, here also has that similar pattern. This is cons consumer staples. So looking weaker. Um, XLU utilities, very similar thing. So not not a, a strong picture at all when you look at the different sectors here here's healthcare xlv similar and uh we have consumer discretionaries which are above the 20 but again showing some weakness on friday real estate sector again having trouble getting above there on thursday following through to the downside on friday still holding these lows but for how long uh really we that's what we should be asking here industrials poking above the 20 you know a glimmer of hope again 
uh, materials fund you know what did close above there on uh thursday friday gave it all back and it's sitting right at the 20 so important test there communications looking weak looking like a short setup there and the retail sector also not looking positive and very close sitting right at these lows of that uh you know long-winded consolidation so if this breaks down it could go much lower this is definitely one to keep an eye on so uh, again overall um not a very bullish picture right now at all let's look at news coming up here and if we look at uh, monday not not a whole lot expected out tuesday we get the red book reports and the jolts jobs numbers uh wednesday we get the mba mortgage apps number we get core cpi as well and uh you know one of the more important things on wednesday are the minutes from last month's uh, fomc meeting um we'll, we'll see if anything comes out of that uh, on thursday jobless claims numbers we get core ppi uh what else we get we get crude oil inventories as well those are the major highlights and on friday we get the core retail sales number uh out business inventories the consumer uh, sentiment numbers and uh, the u.s baker hughes rig count so there are some key uh, economic data points, but more than anything, I think we really have to keep an eye on these index charts and the charts of those different sectors, um, which right now are giving us a hint that we should expect more downside to come, at least for this coming week. So um, that is how things are looking right now. Uh, a quick reminder that you normally on mondays our live market chat kicks off at 1 p.m eastern but tomorrow uh, we are doing it a bit early we will go live at 10 a.m eastern okay 7 a.m pacific i really hope to see you there but until then enjoy the rest of your weekend and we will see you on our next update